Mark, just looking at your start on Saturday, the starters, I mean, presumably fine on the effort, just want a little bit more cutting edge up front? Yeah, I think just need to be a little bit more clinical with our deliveries and, um, and finishing. Um, we, we created we had 16 goal opportunities, according to Jason's stats, um, but probably only worked the keeper three, three times, so we, we've got to, got to be better at that, you know, we've got to be a little bit more clinical. But, you know, not a bad start as you go into the League Cup and presumably a bit of a shot to nothing at home to a League One side. And if you could get on a run, then a little bit of extra money into the coffers wouldn't go amiss. And it's not about the money. It's about performances again. You know, the performance was good Saturday and we won exactly the same tomorrow. But we obviously we won a result on the end of it. Um, they're a good side, very good football inside. Uh, we'll have to match them in that department. But, yeah, we need to, we need to start winning a game and... Uh, no better, no better time than at home tomorrow night. And actually, the fact they're a football inside will that help you as well? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it poses a few problems. You know, they're they're, they're a very good football inside, and they're, they're, you know they're at the top end. They'll be at the top end of League One. Um, so it'll be a an, an upper notch, if you like, in terms of quality. But that's that's where probably we were, when we were at our best. So you know, same effort, same endeavour as the other day. Um, can't express myself. Can't work hard. And, and um, let, let's get the win that we that we're all craving for. Is it hard to pick up results right at the start of the season because everyone's so geared up for it and no one wants a bad start? Is it hard? I, I don't know. It's um, it's just got just got to take your time, be patient. But you you want to get off the mark as quickly as you can, whether it be in the league, whether it be in the cup. Just f keep the players' confidence up because you know the performance was decent. We just need to you know, that first positive result and. Uh, MK Dons drew two all with Hartlepool. Presumably, you haven't watched. What did you? What have you reports? Uh, I've had them watched two or three times during in pre-season and obviously Saturday. Like I said before, they, do, they dominate possession. Um, they have got whatever formation they play. They, they've, they've crowded the midfield in, in terms of playing three in there to because they like to keep the ball. They like to keep it moving. They like to play from the back. Uh, they have got three quick forwards that we've got to deal with. It's going to be a test for us, but, but we'd like to think that we're going to cause them some problems ourselves. Um, you know, we, whichever way we go, you know, we, we've had a chat this morning, we had a chat Saturday on the way home. Um, which, what, the way we go about it, and, and come tomorrow night, we'll see where we go, and, and we'll try and attack them. You know, we, we've got to be mindful that they're a decent side, but you know, we're at home again, and, and we want to we want to play well, and we want to play on the front foot, and we, we'll do what we can to, to try and make that happen. When teams do play three in the middle of the park, obviously they're a lot harder to break down. What is, if you like, the best way to try and break them down? <laughs> to be just good on the ball, to, to close down. To sometimes you've got to be a, be patient. But we're 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 a better team on the front foot, and we'll 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 have a plan to to try and to do that. I'm mindful that they've got three lively forwards up top as well. So you know, it's I'm sure. I'm sure they'll come and play their normal game, so it'll be, a, like I said before, it'll be a good test, but one of one the players and I are really looking forward to. No goalkeeper on the bench on Saturday. Is there any movement on there? Have you got a, anything agreed with uh, the club? No, not yet. But it's, 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 it won't happen at the minute, so we'll just watch this space until something happens. But, you know, we're, we're trying to get things, well, something will be done, but just, just not right at this moment in time. Plenty of speculation. It's Lee Nichols from Wigan. Any comment? Speculate all you like. You know, wait till we wait till we get something sorted. Thank you. Good luck. It's a pleasure. Well, you you've got seven subs uh, to name on tomorrow night. Is, is that mean that maybe the East team goalkeeper might get get on there? Or are you going to go nope. for seven outfield? Um, I don't think Brad will be involved. We'll, we'll see where we go. just you know things might develop between now and then. Um, it's not something that's concerning me right at this moment in time. You know, um, seven subs that means two more people get a chance. You had such a good start at home last season. I think you won your first three league games at home, didn't you? That was an important sort of foundation it gave you. But then, unfortunately, you couldn't sustain it. Yeah. It? Listen, we've got to be better in every department. We know that. And, um, you know, last year was last year. We've got ten new faces. Uh, and, you know, I don't think our, our home form is going to be, you know, a problem. We've got to just... This group's just got to work hard and... and um, 
continue to try and work on things that we've done throughout pre-season and, and did reasonably well on Saturday um, and just just keep believing in themselves and, and, and they will you know we've got to be clinical we've got to, we've got to improve in all areas of course we have and, and every player and every club's got to do that uh, we've got to keep working hard on the training ground and and we'll we'll be fine how, how far do you think Ethan Moore is away from maybe getting involved in a game of some sort is he, uh, is he catching he's up miles away. yeah he's miles away at the minute from, from, from my first team yeah is he, is he alright physically uh, he's this virus okay. for, he's been it's been a really strange start for him so he's got a lot of work to do and we'll just he'll be involved as and when he's we see fit yep. Andy Gallen have got a chance or is no, he still yeah. no he's a couple of weeks away probably uh, 10 days probably away from from training so no, no chance is that going to affect any possible move away or is he still yeah, yeah I mean, over that? It's, nothing's going to happen while he's injured um, and we'll just we'll revisit it as and when you know when, it, when, he's, when he's fit yep. are you looking to get anyone else out on loan at the moment or? Um, not not particularly no um, no, nothing's changed with the Michael Pook situation, um, and we just, you know, we need bodies. You know, we, we there's no point getting a squad of 23 and then sending them all straight out. You know, we need we need competition for places, which I've got. <coughs> Excuse me, which is good. You're going to pick up the odd injury. You know, the, the team that starts the first game isn't necessarily the team that's going to play the bulk of the season. So we'll just see. We, you know, we're in, we're in no desperate need to get people out, um, apart from the fact that we want to keep players fitness levels up and, and you know that's that's the reason they'll be sent out or or, or any other thing that, that, that might happen so do you think you've got more chance of changing a game from the bench now because the, obviously the subject yeah, got on Saturday yeah, is a good example so. of how yeah I think so we, you know we on Saturday we tried to uh, I was wary of Jimmy you know, I think they did a good job on the crowd did a good job on getting him booked you know what, what they don't I don't want it to be a shrinking violet you know, they're, they're, they're too experienced centre halves of have blatantly blocked him off three or four times, and and what's he? You know, I want him to put himself about. Um, I just we just felt one more, one more needless foul. I think he could have been sat next to me anyway, and we'd have been down to ten men. So it was, you know, that's something Jimmy's got to get get under under control. Um, not that he hadn't, but he's got to curb his his enthusiasm and his his desire to do well and, and do it in the right way. Um, we, we we matched them up, and I just wondered if it if it just could, we could just open the game up with having three up top with that wide the two wider players and, and Russ coming through the middle, um, and, and then for the last 15 minutes I wanted to have a, you know it was it was time for Darrell to try and to create something to try and change the game. We'll you know, we've worked on a few things in pre-season formation wise, and we'll like I say we'll we'll do what, what what's what we see. That the team needs is Daryl 100 percent. Yeah, he's, he's, sharp? yeah, he's, he's he's probably a week behind the players in terms of pre-season work, but no, he's sharp. He's looking sharper and sharper on the training ground, um, and he'll get his chance. He knows that. Did, did you uh, know Jimmy Spencer had that sort of? Did you want that sort yeah. of aggressive? Yeah, play up yeah. front, which maybe he didn't have last season. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I wanted that edge. Um, I, I didn't think he did anything wrong. I think you know I was amazed that it took so long for 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 the for the lad to get booked. For the 15 to get booked on Saturday, you know, he countless misdemeanors against against Jimmy. Um, then he eventually you know, swings an elbow at Jeff and, and gets a yellow. But I, I thought it should have happened a long time before. And, I, and you know, fair play, the two experienced centre halves got you know, and the crowd got got Jimmy in the book. And, and it was just then he was just. I just felt we'd better to play the game with 11 men and and, and chase it and, and have a go at them. Um, we just couldn't quite. We weren't quite clinical. We've looked at the DVD and we were. We had some good chances. We had some good opportunities without really making the keeper work hard enough, and that's that's the one disappointing thing from, from the day. But uh, you know, we move on and we'll work again on the training ground today to, to try and to try and get better. Yeah, Marlon and Danny Andrews want to spend a lot of time practicing set pieces, and they normally are good, aren't they? Just didn't yeah, quite it, find the range on Saturday. No, exactly. You know, that's it, it, exactly what it was. You know, they have got decent delivery, decent quality. Um, but it's then about the runs, and it's about you know people having that desire to score goals. Um, we, we've, we've hopefully picked up on a couple of things that we saw that we can do better, and, and we'll and we'll put that into practice today, hopefully. Yeah. Cheers, Mark.